And the same applies to uh, changing direction, right? So running and then jumping. You're trying to transfer all of this energy into this energy. So if you watch high jumpers, um, you know, in the Olympics, their, their run up, you know, is pretty normal and their contact positions kind of look like this. And then their last step The last step before the, the height looks like that. It's way out in front because they want to transfer all of this momentum into upward momentum. It's very much like what happens when you like throw a pencil and it hits a table. So this is the surface of the table and this pencil spinning through the air like this. And where it is in its rotation when it hits the table really matters for what's going to happen next. So if it comes in and it, it's already here, when it hits, you can see what's going to happen, right? It's just going to go, poof. it's going to go flat and like boink, like that. If, it, if the weight of the pencil is already in front of the contact, kadoom. If the weight of the pencil is behind the contact, it goes boink and goes straight up in the air. So it's exactly the same as the high jumper. It's like the weight is behind the contact and you transfer that energy upwards. And obviously the jumpers, they use their arms and they do all that too.